Today I am talking about two pretty cool SEO tools, SEM Rush and Rank IQ. Which one is better for bloggers? Hey guys, Jasmine here. Today I am talking about SEO, specifically two pretty awesome SEO tools I have had the pleasure to use. The first is Rank IQ, the second is SEM Rush. I'll start with SEM Rush as far as what it is. I have done a video in the past about SEM Rush and how it has helped me grow my blog on the organic side to the point where I went from having mostly social traffic to majority organic traffic. So SEM Rush has been huge for me. Another tool that I've recently discovered is called Rank IQ. Now Rank IQ is awesome because it was built by a blogger for bloggers and it is super simplistic in order for you to grow your organic traffic. I am currently using both tools, but for those of you who have never heard of Rank IQ or who have not used SEM Rush, one is more geared towards bloggers, especially if you are a beginner blogger. I wanna talk about what the differences is between both of those tools today. So I'm gonna be comparing both of these tools using four key criteria. One, ease of ease. Two, the ability to do keyword research, which is pretty important if you're a blogger. Three, the ability to do a site audit on your website to see how it's performing from an SEO perspective. And four, the expense, because if we can't afford to use the tool, then it's not much help to us. Let's talk about ease of use. I'll start with Rank IQ. Now, one thing you should know about Rank IQ is that this tool consists of five pages total. That is it. So there's not a whole lot of exploring that you need to do in order to understand all the elements of this tool. When you first log into the dashboard, there is a video that says, watch me before you do anything else on the platform. Now the video is a little long, it's a little over 30 minutes, but once you watch that video, you might as well consider yourself a Rank IQ expert because it shows you everything you need to do on the platform to be successful with your blog. Because of the simplicity, of the Rank IQ website and this very detailed video that shows you exactly how to use the platform. Rank IQ is a very easy to use platform. Now let's talk about SEM Rush. SEM Rush, to call it a tool, is not doing it justice. SEM Rush is a platform. There are over 20 different tools on SEM Rush that you can use, and they're not exactly intuitive on how to go about using them. There is, however, tutorials. They have some videos and they also have some how-to documents that shows you how to use each and every tool within SEM Rush. There are some beginner strategies, there are medium strategies, there are advanced strategies. For a lot of them, I had to go through them a few times just to understand exactly what the process is and how it's going to impact my blog. So when I'm comparing Rank IQ and SEM Rush next to one another, as far as ease of use goes, Rank IQ is the winner. Let's talk about point number two, keyword research. If you are trying to do keyword research on SEM Rush, there are so many keywords you can choose from. Any topic you can think of, just type it into the keyword research tool and it will help you find long tail keywords, short tail keywords. It'll tell you how competitive it is. It'll tell you what your competitors are using. It will tell you a lot of information about the keywords that you wanna use. If you watch SEM Rush's video and read their how-to document on their keyword research strategy, it's pretty comprehensive. They start with looking for your competitors and finding what keywords they're ranking for and then trying to find some gaps between what they rank for and what you want to rank for. But it takes some work. Just because they gave you the strategy doesn't mean that it's necessarily easy. Once you figure this out though, this strategy works amazingly. Now let's move on to Rank IQ. The way you do keyword research here is pretty simple. Brendan Gale, the creator of Rank IQ, handpicks all the keywords on the site. Yes, you heard me correctly. He is doing keyword research on, a, it seems like a near constant basis, putting them into a massive list and ranking them in order of how quickly you can rank. Now it ranges from ultra fast to average. And ultra fast means that you can rank within 30 days, averages ranking within six months. I have yet to find any other tool that shows me a time frame on when I can actually rank for a particular keyword. That's the one thing about keyword research. You can do all this research, you can use all of these tools, but you never really have a 
full understanding of how long it can take to actually rank for a specific keyword. That was one thing I was very impressed with with Rank IQ, being able to put a timeline along with a certain article topic I'm going to be writing. Now, there is one downside to keyword research using Rank IQ, and that is it's limited. I can't just go to Rank IQ and say, I want to write about strawberry ice cream. Type in strawberry ice cream and see a ton of topics about that because that's not how it works. Someone is handpicking all these keywords. There is a high likelihood that you're going to type something in and you're not going to find the keyword that you were hoping to write about. But like I said, the keywords that are there are golden because they're going to help you rank in quickly. If I had to put a vote to it as far as which platform is better when it comes to keyword research, and I'm thinking specifically about bloggers, I would say that Rank IQ is better. Let's talk about point number three, the site audit feature. When it comes to SEMrush, they have an amazing site audit feature. To be honest, this is probably one of my most favorite features for SEMrush. And here's why. You plug in your link to your website, you link your Google Analytics, your Google Search Console, link all of that up and it gives you a score from zero to 100. And based on that score, it breaks down everything. It gives you ideas on how you can optimize pieces of content so that you can get a higher score. It tells you if you have broken links or for report errors or different articles that are not being picked up by Google. I mean, it tells you a lot. It even gives you a score or rating based on how you're performing with your competitors or if there are any backlink opportunities for you. It even tells you what websites are linking back to your site. Now, this is very valuable because one thing that I think a lot of bloggers overlook is for things that are broken on your website or that are not working, how is that impacting your traffic? Is your site too slow? Are you running into issues because you have someone who's trying to take it over or add irrelevant content? This site audit feature can tell you all of that. It is really easy to get it set up. So I like that. Now let's move on to Rank IQ. Rank IQ does not have a site audit feature per se, but it does have something that I find to be very interesting. If you go into Rank IQ, they have a check rankings feature. So when you are on this page, you can link it to your Google search console. Once you do this, it will give you an overview of which articles are doing the best on your website organically. It'll also show you which keywords are performing the best. I know you can pull all this information yourself in Google search console, as well as combining Google analytics. But what's nice about Rank IQ is they give you a nice dashboard view so you know what to prioritize, what to look at, and what's performing. It'll even show you which keywords have come up in ranking versus which ones have declined. I also like it gives you a list of articles that may have performed well in the, in the past, but now they are losing traffic. So you have an idea of content that you need to improve on. Now this is nowhere near how comprehensive the site audit feature is on SEMrush. But it is incredibly helpful to be able to track your ranking and just look at it from a nice simplistic view and say, hey, how's my content doing? So if I'm looking at the site audit feature overall, I'm going to have to say that the better tool for this is SEMrush, mostly because it gives you so much more information on top of the information that Rank IQ also provides for you. Okay, let's move on to our fourth category and that is expense. And this is probably one of the most important categories because like I said, if you can't afford the tool, then why are we even chatting about this? The price for SEMrush is probably as big as downfall. The lowest price you can pay on a monthly basis for SEMrush is $119. And that is not chump change if you are a beginner blogger or if you're just getting started with SEO. Now I will say that it's a pretty fair price considering all that you get. Like I said, it's not one tool, it's a platform of 20 plus tools that you can use to grow your SEO. And if you pay it on an annual basis, it's a little cheaper. Now compare that to Rank IQ. You have a more simplistic platform and this one costs $100 a month. You would get 16 different reports. And what those reports are, are the various keywords. So if I want the keyword green hats, that counts as one report. And think about a report as how many articles you can potentially write in a given month. Now, I said it's $100, which is comparable to SEMrush, and it's a more simplistic tool. 
But if you use my affiliate link in the description below, you can get Rank IQ for $49, which is significantly less expensive than if you want to go with SEMrush. If I'm looking at expense for both of these tools, Rank IQ definitely wins. All right, so we've gone over all the different categories. I will say that the winner of the two tools for bloggers when it comes to SEO is Rank IQ. Yeah, I love Rank IQ. I think it's a great tool if you're a beginner blogger. I think it's a great tool if you've been blogging for a while. It's nice for you to be able to go in one place, find the keywords that you want, find out how to outline that content and write that content right within the platform. Now that's not to say that I don't also love SEMrush because like I said, I use SEMrush. I love SEMrush. Um, and it's a great tool if you are trying to do more advanced things on your site outside of just keyword research and just building your organic traffic that way. SEMrush is great for if you are trying to do a site audit or you're trying to find different ways that you can continue to grow your domain authority as well as your organic traffic or figure out your competitive strategy. But if you're a beginner blogger, just getting started with SEO, Rank IQ is the winner. And I can't see what my strategy looks like without it now because it has been that impactful. Just like it says, if you have an ultra fast keyword, it's gonna rank in 30 days. And I have seen that uh, proven true. So there you have it. If you want more information about Rank IQ, I did write a blog post about it and you can see that in the description below. I've also written a review about SEM Rush. If you want to know what my detailed experience has been using that platform as well, I have that blog post below and I have a video for it above my head here. So you can check that out too. And then if you want to check out either platform, I have my affiliate links for SEM Rush and for Rank IQ in the description below. I um, would love to hear what you guys' thoughts are. Please let me know in the comments how many of you have used Rank IQ or SEM Rush and what has your experience been with either platform. I am looking forward to checking those out and replying to all of you. I will catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep on keeping on. Bye.